I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on sequences and series. Here's a very interesting question and we are going to get a very interesting result also at the end of this video. The question here is, write the first five terms of the following sequence. 1 over square root 5 times 1 plus square root 5 over 2 to the power of n minus 1 minus square root 5 over 2 to the power of n. You can actually pause the video, write down the series and then watch my video. Now, when I say write first five terms, we basically what we want to do here is we want to write n equals to 1 and then calculate the value. Correct? So n equals to 1 will be 1 over square root of 5 and we put square brackets for these outside brackets and we have 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 power is 1 so that is 1 minus 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 correct that's what we have now that gives you 1 over square root of 5 now when you they have already a common denominator of 2 so you get 1 plus square root of 5 minus 1 1 minus 1 is 0 and that becomes plus square root 5 so you get 2 times square root of 5 over 2 right and that gives you square root 5 square root 5 cancel 2 and 2 cancel so you basically get 1 so for n equals to 1 we do get 1 as our answer so if I substitute n equals to 2 what do I get I get 1 over square root of 5 and here will be 1 over square root of 5 over 2 now this is whole square this time right minus we have 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 whole square correct now what do that gives well some of you know that this is like a square minus b square right uh, or you could expand and figure out the answer so so what we get here is 1 over square root of uh, so this is 5 sorry so we have 1 over square root of 5 and inside a square minus b square is a plus b times a minus b right so so that's what it is so what we get here is a plus b since it is a square minus b square so a plus b now square of this we could always take 1 over 4 outside because 2 square is 4 so we're left with 1 plus square root 5 minus 1 plus square root 5 whole square right this is actually sorry negative right minus okay now when you do a plus b square mi minus a minus b square what do you get you get two times a b right or you can expand this so basically what you get here is let's uh, we can write expansion also so you may write this as 1 plus uh, 2 times square root 5 plus square of this which is 5 right minus so let me put one more bracket here since we have taken 1 over 4 common 1 minus 2 times square root 5 uh, plus 5 correct so that's what you get so when you look at it now basically 1 plus 5 6 and uh, 1 plus 5 6 they get cancelled out so you are left with 4 square root 5 right so basically what you get here is equal to 1 over square root of 5 times 1 over 4 and here you get 4 times 2 square root 5 plus 2 square root 5 square root 5 correct so 4 times square root 5 divided by 4 times square root 5 is indeed 1 so again you get 1 as your answer does make sense to you right okay now if I substitute n equals to 3 then what do we get we get 1 over square root of 5 and within brackets we have 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 whole to the power of 3 minus 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 to the power of 3 correct that's what we get now we have to find five terms you can always expand a plus b whole cube and a minus b whole cube to get the result. 
but now it is going to be very difficult so we'll use calculator so let's use calculator to find this answer so we have a uh, first term is 1 over that is 1 divided by square root of 5 right now this term is multiplied with with all this right so we will put three brackets here to work out so we have 1 plus square root of 5 bracket close then divide by 2 and then bracket and then we cube it right minus uh, then the other one so we'll put uh, uh, cube it and then we have two brackets again we have 1 minus square root of 5 okay bracket close divide by 2 uh, bracket and then again we cube it and then we close the bracket okay this is equal to what well that gives us 2 as the result right so that is 2 so we have got n of 3 is equal to let me write in a different ink we get this as 2 okay now if I write n equals to 4 then what do we get right so so in that case what I'm going to do here is change 3 to 4 right so that's what I'm going to do so we'll change this 3 to 4 and the other 3 also to 4 so that's the use of this calculator so it becomes easier right and then equal to same formula we get 3 as our result right so we get this value as 3 okay now let's put n equals to 5 and then calculate so I'm again going to change that value from 4 to 5 and then calculate it's a complicated formula with very interesting result we get 5 right so so for n equals to 5 what we get is 5 right now with all this we can use this space to write down our series and then we'll try to analyze it so the first term is 1 the second term is also 1 third term is 2 and then uh, fourth is 3 then we have 5 correct we could continue like this correct anyway what do you notice well very interesting result this is Fibonacci series right so we we notice that sum of previous two is the third term right so what we notice here is that the first term is 1 second term is also 1 and we can write the nth term as sum of n minus 1 and sum of n minus 2 previous 2 so what we see here is that we have sum of previous 2 terms and that is what this series is this is famously called as Fibonacci series so that is how you can create your Fibonacci series using this particular formula. So at this stage, it is beyond our scope to derive this formula. However, it is always very good to know that any this even this complicated series, which looks so simple, easy to describe, we have a formula to uh, find the different terms of this series. And so what you notice is a very interesting series, the world famous Fibonacci series, right? So that is what this formula represents, right? So let me write down now that this formula can help you get the terms in Fibonacci series. Correct? So, so there is indeed a formula. It is very difficult and beyond the scope at this stage for us to derive the formula. But however, it is very interesting to know that there is a formula which can help us find the different terms of Fibonacci series. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.